Someone who is chasing a thrill is wanting a second chance for you. This is someone who is wanting to return and they're wanting you to have an open heart. Let's grab the other card here. Wow, someone's wanting you to have an open heart. But they also know that you're stepping into a season where you're using your intuition. This is where you're making head of a heart decisions. Not allowing someone to use the emotional history of a relationship against you. This is someone who wants the opportunity to make amends, but they're not knowing how to reach you. You're hard to reach or hard to understand now that you're stepping into a different light, a different season of second chances or new life. I feel there is conflict when it comes to this energy where they're conflicted. Some is conflicted when it comes to close bonds, family, and even on their own pride. I feel this is someone who is stuck in a space of lust. Still not making a confession. Someone is reminiscing and dwelling on something being bittersweet. As something is broken beyond repair. Shattered, destroyed, because someone failed to come from the heart. This is someone who is lacking in depth, awareness, importance, and even values. When it comes to not revealing a truth, sending a message, or even being confident in the fact that they have truly changed. I feel this is someone who is lacking awareness when it comes to the pain that was truly caused as they abandon something when it comes to a commitment. This is someone who was truly distracted by attachments, third parties, peers, and they didn't see the possibilities of something that not working out for them. Now they're trying to escape, avoid some type of confusion with a twin flame where they're trapped in some type of fantasy of delusion where they're being elusive withdrawn going through some type of emotional storm still not trying to acknowledge the pain the betrayal and the lies they presented to you Someone knows that they went too far within a situation that only hurt them in the end. This is someone who has a lot of negative thoughts and this is what puts them in a space to satisfy a need. As this is someone who abandoned something with you, who is somewhat conflicted, resentful, angry. This is someone who has hurtful words only because of what was lost. Hmm. Someone's having to heal from the lack of loyalty and for this energy the repeating patterns when it comes to karmic lessons and even deja vu. Because some things and some people just never change. I feel like it's someone who been in a situation within a commitment for something that was false or fake, something that was just a pipe dream, an illusion. Someone is mirroring their own pain to you because they don't know how to deal with it. It's unfamiliar, hmm. but I also feel they have cursed themselves in doing so. Let's see some more energy here. Let's read the messages here. I definitely feel this is someone who lost their way when it comes to trying to seek some type of redemption when it comes to your energy. Hmm. Because there's still bitter something with left when it comes to a twin flame energy where someone was still stuck in some type of fantasy, a facade, a big illusion, where things are repeating and still not going away. This is someone who was in the pursuit of something that turned out to be very toxic, but the fact that they were in balance, they destroyed something that this might be hard to undo. Mm. This is someone who needs to focus on their growth, find their purpose, but they're still distracted. This is someone who is still distracted by some low vibrational ways, toxic energies, trying to fit in. So in many ways, they cause your bluff. Someone called your bluff within a situation where they, are, they were hoping to get their way. So they became mysterious or they ran. Someone became invisible. And for some of you, they just became someone you used to know. Because due to every mistake and deception, this energy changed along the way. This is someone who was exaggerating something here. 
and now they're stressed out knowing they need to give an apology. Someone is shocked by the silence between the two of you because trust me, this is someone who is completely stressed about walking away, blocking you, pushing you to your limit. I feel like this is someone who is in deep regret for putting you in a space where you needed some space because now I sense this energy is stress, going through a lot of arguments and tension without you. For some of you, this is someone who knows deep down they should have listened to you, they should have understood you, or knew that you wasn't in the way or in the energy of playing with them, but someone played themselves by playing you. Now they're shocked by the silence. I feel this is someone who was at a distance, their resistance. Hmm. Their resistance to something when it comes to how they left something, how they walked away, or even left something behind. There's a separation where someone has become hesitant because of the fact that something is now frozen. There is no words between the two of you, and if there is, these words are just not making any sense because there's no chemistry. Because someone has yet to realize how shallow or empty they are. This is someone who doesn't have a lot of boundaries, but they also don't feel like they're enough. But I also feel they're bringing in a state of consequences, cause and effect, a heavy load of debt, where I sense karma is coming their way. This is karma that is long overdue. I feel the universe gave this energy plenty time to make things right or find their way but this is someone who pushed something to the limit trying to call your bluff or push you in a dark space someone wanted you to regret something turning their back hoping you react but i feel they got the they didn't get the type of reaction they desired especially because they didn't return to give some type of an apology I feel like this is someone who is just too prideful to heal. Too prideful to heal or even admit they have a hard time being loyal. But I feel you finding peace has brought them to a space of desperation or even obsession. This is someone who may be in a state of heart fog, still sending mixed signals with you. But I feel something's about to push this energy to a breaking point. And it just might be their karma. Hmm. I feel karma is not something they understand, realize, or even think exists. They stay in a hopeful phase because they've always gotten through or gotten their way this far. But they have also created some losses that they have yet to realize is a permanent stain on their life as they were soon realized all of their choices will affect them in the long run. Let's get some final energy here from this deck here. Holy Spirit. Have a message, this final message on my part here, Spirit. Thank you. Hmm. Elusive, dishonest. This is someone who is still stuck in a web of trickery. This is why they're hesitant to have some type of transparency with you to even return to make this confession come clean and reveal a truth to you. This is someone who is still conflicted, hot and cold, still believing they have a choice, but they still don't realize chasing a thrill. They have lost an opportunity. Let's see some more energy. I feel like this is someone who plays the victim even though they know they created this mess. They just don't know how to put a stop to something. They don't know how to resist temptation, weaknesses, trying to fit in or not trying to seem weak, especially behind you. Because in many ways, one of the reasons they deceived you is because they became too bored or comfortable. But this is how they lost their position in another way. They lost their path, their way. Mm. 
this is someone who has become very jealous so they could be dealing with an energy who is very low vibrational or jealous this is someone who could be affected by the fact that they're dealing with something or someone they settled with while you're growing or stepping into a new phase someone's been elusive for some time now and, and in that time i feel you've learned some lessons you've grown some from some things and you've also put in the effort of putting something or someone behind you and this is someone who doesn't like that someone doesn't like the fact that you were not phased or broken down by their games this is someone who feels like you're starting to be too content without them to gain this open heart to be vulnerable towards them but i also feel this is connected to their karma consequences for their actions someone feels like you're acting weird this is someone who feels like you're acting weird when it comes to a connection or relationship issues but i feel it's really because they're keeping a grudge they're holding some type of negative energy because you're not seeking to please and you're not being gullible this is someone who is miserable, wasting their time on pointless things, possibly even coming up on some disastrous ways that is causing some mental issues. Someone knows that you're tired. Someone knows that you're tired of the back and forth, the mind games, the lies, them becoming a profo professional ghoster. Many of you are now seeing this energy as a risk. A risk that's you just might not be willing to take. Someone feels like you're being weird because you have found the time to look closer at something. For many of you, you have to separate yourself to do this. And I feel once you turned your back, someone didn't like the fact or the feeling that they were giving back to the streets. Because for many of you, you feel like that's where they belong. For many of you, you have a, a very big heart for this energy but the fact that they're going through this misery is due to their own reckless ways. Someone wants to blame this pain on you, but I feel you have done some things with no regrets because this energy was acting fake with you. And for some of you, this energy has come out as a pathological liar who is now in crisis that something has been returned to sender. I feel whatever you did was on target when it comes to someone who doesn't know which way to go. But I feel it's only because what goes around definitely comes around to someone who was lawless with you. Now someone's OCD about changes, trying to push their life in a different direction, but nothing is moving because nothing has changed. Let's get one more deck, one more card here from this swindler. <laughs> Didn't have to go too far. To be a swindler. Only got them swindled someone swindled their way through something and now it's definitely blocking their light I feel like this is someone who didn't see something for what it was they just didn't expect something from you to be so intense but the fact that they tried to swindle you they only swindled themselves out of a path of forgiveness I'm going to get some more energy here from this thing this man messages here I feel like this is someone who is elusive because they know what they did to you they're just having a hard time understanding it dealing with it exposing the truth to it but I feel something will have to be made clear especially when it comes to what they're about to face or their two-faced ways I feel like this is someone who fell into a sexual addiction or some type of addiction that confused their way of thinking, but I feel them trying to swindle you is definitely something they don't need alcohol for. This is someone who's always manipulating things, always having an agenda when it comes to getting things they want, even if they know they can do things in a different way. But I feel like someone has just been two-faced with you for so long, they don't know which side of them is their true side mm. especially when it comes to third parties someone doesn't really know who they are they think about that all the time 
they're elusive because they know that you're going to see that they haven't changed or they have remained the same, if not worse. Someone feels like there's no second chances. There's no way to return. Someone is losing hope now that they are given back to a false reality or they feel like they're on the streets or in the streets and they're wanting to break free. Someone is wanting to break free from this false, fake facade that they have created where there's a lot of secrets. This is someone who wants to move in silence towards you, but this is someone who feels like you have already lost interest. Someone who is paranoid about spinning the block, coming back around. They're just being stubborn right now because they know they were gaslighting you. They don't know how to explain that. They don't know how to explain their betrayal or how they try to assassinate your character. And for many of you, they're also very insecure. This is someone who's very insecure about their distorted ways of thinking, being, and living. They know they need to apologize, tell you that things will be different or even put in the work to show you that, that energy, but they also feel they have drawn a line between love and hate, where they know they can't finesse something with you now that you see them as risk. Someone feels like they can't undo or unexpose what has been revealed, but I feel they also know they're playing a game that they know they will never win. Final energy from this deck. You guys, this is someone who definitely played a dirty game. They didn't know how far these secrets was going to go. This energy felt like if they were out of sight, out of mind, you would forget about the details of a situation. But I feel things were only more revealing as they gave you more time for healing or seeing something from a clear space. This is someone who now wants to break free of something that is attached to them indefinitely. And for some of you, this is a, an, another energy, a feminine energy, a feminine energy they feel has done witchcraft on them. This could also be male energy as well, but they're not very aggressive. This is someone who presents themselves as being very innocent, but they're very brutal aggressive with what they want, what they think they are entitled to. And I feel like they feel entitled to something you once had or something you have. Let's get some more energy here. Of course, if you guys enjoy the reading, let me know down below. Get some energy here on this card. Someone's being created with you, but they still don't want you to move away. Someone doesn't want to be forgotten by you, but you see this energy as a fallen angel. This is someone who is now feeling unloved, but they're feeling unloved because they gave no love. Wow. wow. I feel like if it wasn't for the evidence and the facts they know you stand on, they would have been found a way to get back in your good graces and make things right with you. But this is someone who was too petty. Too petty and immature to change. For some of you, something they did wasn't that big of a deal. Hmm. I feel like it's more like how they chose to do it. That kind of put the final nail in the coffin. This energy is coming out as a shapeshifter. Someone who should have taken time to understand, taken notes within a situation. But they're hoping you're still in tune with their energy. Regarding the fact that they were stubborn, but they're also feeling like they can't take something back. But I feel this shapeshifter is about to do something out of the blue. Because they feel like you want them to stay away or keep out. I feel this is pushing them more to change or pushing them more to get some type of reaction out of you. But I feel for now this energy is moving in silence. As it seems they have yet to find a way to ground themselves. We have the Earth energy in the reverse. This could also be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy where someone made the wrong choice. <sighs> wow. 
someone is wanting to make a choice to reconnect when it comes to you, but they're needing to focus on finding their purpose, tapping into their better self, and definitely getting rid of these unhealthy attachments as is affecting their mental health. Something is one-sided wherever they are, and wherever they are, they are equally scattered, more scattered than they were with you. This energy wants to bring something together, but they're still stuck in their ways. When it comes to a final warning that you gave, the tables are now turning, and someone is getting a taste of their own medicine, realizing they broke their own heart. This is someone who knows they gave you a fake apology or someone feels like they could have done better by putting in an effort. Especially when it comes to something that you were waiting on. Because now that they're curious or thinking about you, they're wanting you to reconsider. Someone is wanting you to reconsider how they played games or resisted some type of change with you, pretending to be too busy for you, gaslighting you. Someone knows they took the wrong path, made the wrong turn, but they were too distracted and disillusioned to see it. This is someone who was disconnected from being honest because they had too many issues, too many responsibilities, too many problems, things that just became a messy situation. But for many of you, the fact that things are never really adding up when it comes to the things they say and do, they know it's going to be hell and high water if you ever listen to them. However, someone's praying for it. Someone is praying that you're still loving them from a distance. Someone's hoping that you're still loving them from a distance, even though they were salty with you. As I said, they operate thinking and believing there's no karma or consequences. They have proven to you they couldn't be trusted with the smaller matters of a situation. They have also proven they couldn't be trusted when it comes to your heart, let alone learn from their mistakes. So many of you just would rather they keep out, keep their distance if they don't change in a better way because shape-shifting to fit it, some type of agenda or fit some type of crowd just isn't the way. This is why someone is lacking when it comes to depth and awareness because they change day by day. They change by the weather. They change when it comes to their surroundings. This is someone who has become a chameleon, someone who has deeply lost their way. One more card here from this deck. Yeah. This is someone who has definitely lost their way. Stuck in old ways, old ways of thinking, being, and dealing with their issues. Someone has been stuck in these ways for so long. It's somewhat a part of who they are or maybe who they've become. There's a lot going on when it comes to this energy. Who wants a second chance, but the fact that they feel there's no welcome mat of returning, they're still in a space of trying to numb the pain. Someone is definitely having PTSD. <laughs> Post-traumatic stress syndrome. This is someone who is completely stressed out by all of the drama that has been caused, but the fact that they have failed to even try to resurrect themselves, this is why they're overwhelmed and feeling like things will never change or be the same. And for some of you, that's rightfully so because of all of the sadness and horror they have brought upon the lives of others. Someone's avoiding something because of the risk that they took. Hmm. This is someone who can be very intrusive. In some way, intrusive yet still unstable. This is someone who is still coming out as someone who is difficult to please. Hmm. And some of you just might feel like this energy somehow, some way, tried to leave you for dead. This is someone who did a lot of things they would never expect you to do to them, but they're finding a way to reason for it due to your emotions or something you did or something you said, they're still not being clear. And for some of you, they still don't know why they're like this. Hmm. But they're triggered. 
someone is triggered by something that is now long term in their life they're blocked when it comes to finances and for some of you they're blocked when it comes to you too I feel this is someone who's running, trying to escape their problems. They have some type of insatiable thirst for attention or sympathy. Now they're truly stressed. Someone's used to love bombing you, but something is out of reach. They're also struggling financially. I feel this is someone who is triggered. Well, triggered and still playing the victim, especially when it comes to a trap. This is someone who is trying to scare you, arouse some type of fear or alarm by going silent or distant from you. This is someone who is refusing treatment, prolonging pain. Someone became a wrecking ball in your life due to their desires and self-pleasures. Someone has only brought you pain, but I feel something has gone too deep. Something has gone too deep where there is no way out, especially within a love affair where there's underlying issues and for some of you this is someone who's involved with dirty money could be going to court for something they did lawlessly someone around them is a tyrant they feel kind of bullied they feel like if they don't do it they can't, can't fit in or they'll be judged a swindler who's been swindled by someone who is even bigger and more distorted than they are I feel like this is someone who was difficult to please and now they're in a sense of regret especially for the disrespect because they are still drawn to you this is someone who's still on the rebound but they're secretly listening in trying to create some type of strategy because at this point they know that they're different this is someone who knows they are different now especially now that they can see how real life can be this is someone who has hit their peak when it comes to something that they're opposite of, something that they're not really fitting into. Someone was trying to change themselves for something and they lost their identity. Now someone is hopeless or homeless. Please take it how it resonates. That is not for everyone, but someone took a leap of faith that they now regret because they don't feel safe. Someone doesn't feel safe in someone else's hands. This could be your energy as well. But someone has become an, an addict or someone who is easily led. And I feel like that was never a part of their plan. I feel like them having no choice but to try to compromise is how things ended this way. All because they became too emotional when they were the ones calling you too emotional. Someone became too disrespectful, too lawless. Someone became a tyrant and now they're in too deep when it comes to their responsibilities and even life matters, affairs of the heart. Someone is on the rebound. Someone is on the rebound, yet still drawn to you. So they're thinking they're going to have to do something out of strategy just to get your attention. But they just might end up wrecking something for good. Because it seems like everything they touch seems to shatter. Or because they don't come from an authentic space, something doesn't feel true. Now they're triggered because something feels like they'll never break free. So this energy has isolated themselves. Disappointed by affairs of the heart. Uh, I feel like this is someone who was trying to deprive you in some type of way, keep something from you. Yet now they see they did this at their own expense. It only end up hurting them in the end because now they're disappointed and refusing to talk, refusing to answer any questions now that they feel karma is getting the best of them. And if they don't feel that way right now, they will. This is someone who is doing something too much. They're overindulging. Or this is someone who was manipulating something psychologically, gaslighting you on purpose just to get some type of reaction from you. But now that you are woke to the bullshit, someone's having a meltdown or a crisis knowing that you won't follow or you're not easily led. But someone cur cursed themselves for their own bad choices. Now they're in regret, feeling salty, bitter, angry agitated that they can't finesse 
This is someone who is manipulating things through trickster ways when they should be coming from the heart. As it seems, they are somewhat intimidated by the fact that you're so strong or independent or you you have your own way of thinking or they now see you're truly tapped into your intuition. I feel like this is someone who doesn't want to be singled out by something. They feel intimidated by something because they can't be deceptive. The fact that you awoke their lies just won't work. Something is just burnt itself out. Something is played out when it comes to someone fabricating a story, not telling a truth. This energy is binding themselves from their inflated ego or just thinking they were too big to fail. I feel like this is someone who has a lot of baggage now that they gave into something. Because someone is wanting to pounce on something. Someone is wanting to make a big move, but this energy is really in their head about them, about a how, a why, when, this is someone who is lost, conflicted, and confused on how to handle something with you. This is someone who has lost their way when it comes to challenges and even things in life, but when it comes to you, something is different, something is pushing them to make something right or see something for what it is, but this energy is yet to follow. Still overindulging, still not woke to the truth. Someone thought that you would be hypnotized by something. Someone thought that you were so in love, you were so attached to this connection, you would never give in, you would never give up. Someone thought that you would be so under the influence of being connected to them that you would never change or change on them because of their mistakes. But I feel they did something out of strategy and this is how they lost their way and this is how something reached its peak. Because someone was not thinking logically, they became a tyrant. Now there's dirty money involved, dirty issues, dirty people involved because someone was on a mission. Hmm. But I feel this mission was without emotion. This is someone who is intimidated because they're insecure. This is someone who always takes the bait. And they're just in their head about why you don't take the bait. Someone's really confused. Fabricating stories, telling lies just to make you the villain. Just to justify why they're going through hell. I feel this is someone who created a competition through their lustful ways of insecurities because they took the bait. Someone started being careless with you. Someone was going through a state of misery, so they start projecting their energy, their anger, putting you in competition, trying to win at all costs. Someone disassociated themselves with you. This energy cut ties, hoping that it would put you in a space to fix things or please them. But when you became unresponsive, that's when something became clear. I feel like when you became unresponsive or this is energy, stop calling, stop reaching out, you clean house. You eliminated something. I feel like once you cut ties, something was done because now this energy is feeling canceled. And they're starting to feel a little bitter about that because it's definitely a hard pill to swallow because now that you're living rent free in their head and they took the bait in the situation, something has become a heavy burden. They're trying to stash something, hold something back. They don't want some other people to know because they feel like something will be taken. Hmm. They feel like something is a burden. Something is bittersweet. Because they fail to take action. Someone knows they want to come back to you because they know that you are loyal. But they also know they may get rejected because they're not. I feel this is retribution for trying to antagonize you, disrespect you in some type of way. Someone is realizing they allowed others to put a key in their back or they just became a toxic energy of someone who is just too hard to love, too hard to understand. Someone became... Um, a liar hmm. or someone just got fooled by a scam this is someone who is always doing a lot yet 
never resolving any issues that come from their toxic or managed ways of being mature, unhealthy, agitating you for no reason. Someone has lost their way. And unfortunately, in the act of that, they also lost you. And for some of you, this has been done with no regrets. Someone is wanting to break the chains, wanting to break free of the misery they have caused themselves, but something needs to be paid in full. Someone needs to pay their dues when it comes to the misery they have caused, because that same pain is long overdue. One more card here. One more card. So someone doesn't like the fact that you are not into the smoke and mirrors of life. I see you see things as they are and not how you want to see them or how others want you to see them. Someone doesn't like the fact that you may have moved on. I feel like this is someone who is still moving out of strategy even though they know that you have receipts. Even though they know you're woke. But as I said before in the reading, this is someone who is at a distance because of what they feel you know. This is someone who's trying to make it make sense and they're still coming up with nothing because it's senseless to what they've done. There's nothing they can say or do that can help you understand the choices they have made against you. Because really none of it adds up. None of it makes sense. But this energy took a chance on you thinking that they would get a second chance out of it. Now someone is wanting to run from their problems, not wanting to talk, not wanting to explain, refusing to answer questions when it comes to their issues. Hmm. This is someone who's come up with nothing because they have yet to really understand how deep something has gone. But one thing they do realize is that the grass is definitely not greener on the other side. I feel whatever... It, Issues they had with you was amplified in another situation where they're starting to see how unprepared they are and they regret ever throwing shade or ever throwing a rock your way. Someone is realizing how unprepared they are for life. They're wanting to release something, release something they invested in because they know they didn't make a wise decision. Because all that glitters is definitely not gold. But this time, an apology just won't be enough. Because this karma, this karma is long overdue. Someone is needing to read between the lines when it comes to friends and enemies. Someone is walking in silence to claim their power or reclaim what is lost. But these fake friends, it's just nothing to really laugh at. These energies or these environments really have a hold on them. This is someone who is in survival mode starting from the bottom up or this is someone who is needing to release the old to find their new but this energy is connected to some ways of thinking or ways of life that they feel complete them in some type of way so they have failed to change but i feel they'll soon find what they invested in will bring them no change i feel this is someone who took a leap of faith especially when it comes to a conversation or something that needs to be said. This is someone who is very traumatized. Or this is someone who is traumatizing for others. Hmm. But I feel decisions are now backfiring when it comes to someone who is exploring different things. Exploring different partners. Because they're about to be put in a position to find another path. This is someone who needs to be in the space of self-reflection to expand their mindset. This is someone who needs to take a leap of faith to speak from the heart, release expectations to see something for face value, see something for what it is to mend a bridge. But they're going to have to dissolve their resentments and their bitter ways to do it. Because without doing so, they can't cultivate a relationship with you. They can't level up if they get greedy. If they start dipping into these lies just to get you to open up, things will never change. Someone's just going to have to go deep. Deep enough to drown in the truth. Because these lies are just about to suffocate them. This is someone who doesn't want to die from telling the truth. And when 
someone say die. This is someone who doesn't want something to die. This is someone who doesn't want something to be final, completed. And they feel like they have to do something. This is why they're doing something out of strategy because they're in survival mode. This is someone who's clearly desperate at a second chance. But this karma, this karma is everything right now. It's taking this energy for a loop. Something that they didn't foresee. Hmm. Someone knows without a shadow, without the grass, it's not greener on the other side. But they also know that they need to take a leap of faith. Someone knows that they need to take a leap of faith if they ever plan to mend this bridge with you. But I feel the fact that they get too greedy, they get too selfish, they end up getting distracted. But due to karma and the funny way things like to come back around, someone will have to change their ways or simply suffer through it. I feel things have definitely gone deep in a situation where someone had a victim mentality because they couldn't cope. They couldn't deal with being clear, transparent, having a clear conversation with you. So they took the coward's way out. They took a leap of faith that only kept them bound, tied to their own harsh ways or consequences that feels like it will never end. These are painful endings where someone is under pressure or the universe is applying pressure for them to cleanse their energy, relocate. This is someone who needs to trust their instincts, learn to grow, overcome some identity issues, but they're needing to close one door to open another, turn lemonades, well, turn lemon into lemonades. This is someone who needs to do better to be better and overcome some complacency to really step into a new phase because without change, this energy is truly wasting their time. Mm. This is someone who needs to detach themselves from um, an outcome, believe in love, believe in truth, respect, honesty, and embrace something. Have an open mind when it comes to discernment and decisions. Someone needs to do something out of intention, free will, and priority where shadow work is involved as well as forgiveness. Someone is needing to accept something with self to come your way and right their wrongs, acknowledge some regrets, and they're needing to choose their words and their energy wisely for someone, for someone to have a positive ending. And throwing stones just ain't it. But I feel karma. Karma is about to be a real big part in their life. But I feel in due time, some things will change. This is someone who is very distracted by some very low, vibration, low vibrational things that they feel makes them, not understanding that it breaks them. They have yet to release or even change. However, I sense karma is about to make this energy a believer of what is to come. Karma is about to make a believer out of them as I sense what they refuse to see clearly will be fully understood. As they come to realize integrity and respect is everything, they're going to also have to accept some major losses. Because when dealing with karma, everything that has been given will be taken away. Final energy here. I feel like it's going to be next to impossible to forget or even replace you. This energy will soon be more than sorry because by the time they figure out things are never going to be the same or by the time this energy figure things out of what they truly lost with you Many of you may not be in the mood to give another chance. I feel this is someone who truly needs to overcome some complacency, but they feel like they're in too deep when it comes to trying to survive in something. I feel it was all fun and games until they start taking sacrifices and losses, especially when it comes to their stability and finances. This is someone who wants a different chance or another chance because they know that they were at their best with you, but many of you are just not taking the bait. And someone is starting to realize they didn't know you at all, and they should have never played you. Wow. 
someone knows you believe in love. Wow. And someone also knows you have a big heart. They're hoping to play on that, but in doing so, it will lead them nowhere. I feel this is someone who needs to answer some questions instead of running away. And then to answer some questions, they're going to have to go deep. Go deep when it comes to the differences in affair, betrayals, and loyalty. Someone needs to come out of the energy of just trying to survive because there will be a life-changing shift where someone needs to get it right, recalibrate, and answer some questions because they know you demand your respect. This is someone who knows that you have earned your position and every ounce of respect that is given, but for them to do so authentically, they're needing to be humbled. And the universe is definitely willing to do that. I feel like this is someone who definitely gave you the short end of the stick. And they know it. Now, they also know they need to be prepared. Prepared to answer questions. Prepared to be transparent. Prepared to finally be an adult about a situation. Tell the truth. Shame the devil. Someone needs to make healthy choices to pursue something with you. Because without it, rejection will be your protection. And it will be out with the old and in with the new. I feel if this is someone who cannot expose the truth, access will be denied. And many of you just might be gone for good. 